Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Chad's Trains and Things and a new item Sunday. And as you can see in front of you, there is not a whole lot. I didn't buy a whole lot this week. Everything you see mainly came in the mail, with the exception of a couple characters in wrestling. But hopefully this week you stay tuned. I know a lot of you aren't into the wrestling or anything, but I'm just kind of putting in to make these videos a little bigger. I should have updates up Monday for InScale. Tuesday for O-Scale should be a little update, and I'm probably going to have some train footage on the make video. Wednesday, I'll have a new Lego build, which is just fun. Thursday, I may even have a new Lego train update type thing, as I am downsizing the size of that. And I'll get in more of that in the Thursday. And then we'll see about Friday and Saturday if I have something put up to them. I'm going to try to get a week's worth of videos put out this week for once, first time in a little while. Not, but anyways, let's get back to what this video is about. So I'm gonna, the only train related item I got this week is this Artista figure actually diving into the pool. You can see our water. You can see like a little bit of water there on the end where he's going into it for my swimming pool. So I'm kind of liking these figures. I need to get one more figure as soon as I can find one with a girl on a raft out in the pool. I went to Michael's two different Michaels today and neither one of them had trees in and Hobby Lobby didn't have no trees in I one anyway either. So I guess I'm gonna have to get on and order me some Woodland Scenics trees, some different kinds and everything to go with it and start making some. Just need to break down and make some trees. I got enough stuff to do it. And otherwise, that's it for train stuff. So if you don't care about the wrestling, thanks for watching, but I'll move on to the wrestling. In the mail, I got this WWE Elite fan takeover of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. One of the wrestlers big time when I was growing up. It's a lot of what I try to collect, like I keep saying, are the older wrestlers I grew up with. I'll show you the back. Steamboat, pause, read if you want. There's the figures that are in this set. Yeah. The other things I bought today, I bought actually bought today, didn't get in the middle, is, is that one of my Walmarts? These have been on the shelves for a while and they had it marked down to $10 a piece on them instead of the 20, so I jumped on them. So I got Matt Jackson from AEW and Nick Jackson from AEW, the Young Bucks. It's cool getting a set. I was kind of looking for them, marked on that price. I jumped on it and got the Young Bucks. So here's Nick. Kind of give y'all a good look. One of the nice young tag teams in AEW. Show the back of it. And what all is in this line. This is series three. So yeah. And Nick Jackson. Brother other one, Nick. Also series three. Show the back of it. Then rivaled AEW. And the third AEW figure I picked up today has been the true peg warmer. Rio. Wish I could find the Chase version, but she's on everyone, and so I was like, you know what, I'll just get her to get the AEW collection going. As I do got some AEW figures coming from Ringside Collectibles. Hopefully here soon, I had some items that were back ordered. So I've been waiting for them to come in. It looks like they're in now, so hopefully this coming week, they will get shipped out. Give me some more AEW. As I'm starting to like AEW, a little bit I watched, a little bit more what WWE's putting out right now. And the final pickup this week, which came in the mail, is an autographed photo of Alexa Bliss with her get up from being with Bray Wyatt. See her autograph here. I love this picture. I might have to frame it and hang it up on the wall. Certification and back. Make sure they're showing that it was it's actually certified it was signed by her and everything else, but yes. I absolutely love this picture. It is a cool picture of her. And having her autograph seemed better to go with the, all the figures of her that I have. Anyways, like I said, it's going to be a short video. Not a whole lot that I have going on. Get a good screenshot here of it all. Pause screenshot. <laughs> Anyways, as always, please like and subscribe. If you haven't, it helps give me more YouTube users. As, as of the time of this recording, I am seven away from 200 i believe which is amazing i'm that close to 200 subscribers already um comment down below 
I'd love to hear from you. If you're into wrestling or anything, I'd really love to hear from you. I'd like to see how many people out there are into wrestling that watch this channel since it's mainly, truthfully, a train channel and a little bit of Lego. Most of Lego I buy has to do with the Lego layout. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you or about anything. And finally, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you all watching videos and the one people who comment and everything else. And it makes it fun to keep doing the videos. Even though I'm not a YouTuber, everything's recorded on my phone. I won't be buying no fancy cameras or anything for it. I'm just kind of having fun and documenting whatever I do train related and anything else related. Anyways, like I said, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. I'll see you next time.